Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 47 of Daryl20's Let's Play of FTB Skies, where today I'm trying to automate the Elven Altar. Uh, the Altar from Batania has usually been a pretty tricky one to automate, but I'm thinking that this time around it might be a little bit easier, uh, courtesy of some additions added by uh, Applied energistics so we're going to say you are always on tick delay of zero right click block interactions only and i'm going to make a wand of the forest specifically for this purpose uh all i need is a couple living wood and that should be cool yes cool all right so then your job is to right click this dude okay now we're going to need the open crate might be easier than i thought it would be honestly but it's okay Couple of you, an open crate. All right, and then we're going to want, I'm gonna do something very similar similar here, right? So we're gonna get a vacuumulator with a filter from thermal. And you will be responsible for vacuumulating things. I could click that in. Oh, you already have a filter in there. Well, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so then you're going to not get fluorite, but in fact get runes. Uh, for now, I'm just going to specify the first four that we're automating, but then in the future, we might add more. Now, the trick will be making sure that when we drop the runes to make the tier twos, that they don't get picked up. So what I might see, is there a way to make this item filter respond to a redstone signal? Yes, there is. Okay, redstone control high. Okay, so we might be able to do something clever with that. Let's, let's consider that as a possibility. Deal? Um, so then if I want you with a pattern provider, okay, you can sit here and then we'll do a logistical transporter, okay. And then Mr. Configurator can extract, sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna make you do that. Now, I'm pretty sure that when we do the AE2, is it the level emitter? No. Nope. It is the level emitter. So why aren't you showing up? Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. Can't you tell me when an item is being crafted? Redstone mode, emit when levels are above or equal, emit when levels are below limit, emit when above or equal or below. I thought there was an em emitter mode for when it's crafting, but maybe that doesn't exist here? Maybe that's in refined storage that I'm thinking of? Crafting card, fuzzy card. Oh, I can put a crafting card in there. There you go. Emit when item is crafting. Emit redstone to craft item while item is crafting. Emit when levels are below limit. Okay. Now my problem is it looks like there's only one slot for this. So that's a challenge. Because I don't think there's like an item in Applied Energistics that gives me like multi... So is there, there's probably, um, it might be easier said than done. Let me poke around in here and see what I can't see. While item is crafting, is there some kind of filter for like multi? There are cells from multi viewy things, but I doubt that goes in here, right? Like that, there's no way that'll work, right? Isn't there like a, a, a cell for filtering the, let me Google this, because I'm curious if this is a thing. Level emitter. Quick Googling tells me I don't think I can do this with multiple items. I can do it with one. 
So if we wanted to do this, we would have to have a level emitter for each craft type. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now. And if we decide we want that, cool. For now, we'll just ignore it and we'll do all the tier one crafts. So let's set these up now then in the crafting window. So as a reminder, remember when you're creating your crafts for this to add the living rock in, right? So I'm literally, because I know the craft is gonna be quick, I'm gonna say, hey, just toss that living rock. Like, you're cool, go, do the thing. And then the living rock will be part of the auto craft. Deal? Now I'm gonna remove my magnet because that's always a thing that we wanna, you know, be aware of. And if we wanted it to be super fast, it might be cooler to go with this item collector, but meh, it works. Vacuumulator, item collector. You can do things many different ways. That's the beauty of Minecraft, right? So now, uh, and then this guy, until primary crafting result is returned, lock crafting, right? And that should be cool. So now if I say I want 16 water rooms, right? Uh, you are not connected to the thing because of course you're not. Duh. Dire, please. Cool. Crafting is unlocked, so now if I want water runes, like 20 of them, he just needs to know how to make fishing rods, right? So there's, there's going to be a few things that I, you know, didn't account for. I think a lot of what is needed here is known, but let's just double check. Like, you know how to make all that stuff. Uh, you should be good on all that. You might be good on that. And maybe carpet would be a good thing to know. Okay, so now if I want runes, let's say I want 20, go. I'm liking it. I'm liking this. This is actually working out really, 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 really well. The only bummer is the inability to craft tier two runes because the way the accumulator currently works is he will suck up that rune the moment it gets dropped to the thing. Well, maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it wouldn't. Because if it hits the runic altar fast enough, the vacuumulator I don't think runs that fast. It runs fast, but I don't think it runs that fast. So if we had it hitting the altar fast enough, it might be okay. And maybe even if I brought this guy down one Y level so that it's literally touching, maybe that would give it a better chance of not being picked up. Oh, you do need blocks of coal. Okay, fair enough. My bad. I wasn't sure I couldn't remember if uh, coal was in a compression drawer or not. Okay. So now, if I want my runes, right? We want 20 of you. Pretty cool. Right? And then we're gonna want 20 of you. Oh, we're missing mana powder. I should add mana powder. Right? I'm trying to think of where to add it though. If I put it right here, again, we're gonna have the same problem um, as we would otherwise. Right? If I put it right here, he may pick up the mana powder when I don't want him to. I'm going to try lowering this one. This will be a good test, actually. If I lower this and put it right here, and I put this right here, okay, and we put these all in here, that should be cool. Uh, and then I added to your whitelist. Would this ever not work? Okay. Would this ever not work? I 
Aha, yeah, I think he not worked. See, I just saw it go in there. So yes, that gummed it up. That absolutely gummed it up. So that is going to be a problem-ish for me if I try to do tier two rooms. I was curious with it touching, if it would be like, oh no, it's fine. No, it's not fine. I definitely saw, it was there for like a split second, but I definitely saw But you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. When I broke and replaced you, did you forget the fact that you were in... Oh, you did forget. Until primary crafting result is returned. That might be why that happened just now. It might have been primary crafting result did fault. Right, and it's not done because it didn't get returned because of my magnet. Maybe? I think the dust that it picked up were the dust that didn't fit in the elven altar because the elven altar wasn't set to ignore. I'm 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 okay with making that assumption, right? Oh, we need more living too, uh, which we can also automate the crafting of if we want. So, with this in mind, we should actually be able to do tier two rooms. End up. Right? We should be able to. Because it looks like it's it's dropping it on the altars so fast that the vacuumulator doesn't have a chance to collect it, which is good. I approve of this. Okay. That's cool. Look who's submitting all the things. Quest complete. And I got a storm lens, which is creative. It's, what's that do? What's a storm lens? I have no idea what that is. Mana storm charge. I don't think that's... Uh, lenses? Messenger, bounce, gravity, bore, damaging phantom, magnetizing entropic, influence, weight, kindle, force, flash. I don't see anything about storm lens. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. Deeper and farther. Uh, we need that all looks uh, five plutonium pellets. That shouldn't be a problem. And then we're gonna have unlimited creative. Oh, that's cool. And creative energy cell and yeah, those are all nice. All right, we will definitely be looking at that in a minute, but I want to consider this automation, right? So if I had another pattern provider and we had another open crate, which would just need a few more of these. Is there any reason we couldn't do this? And then do mana powder. Does it matter which one I use? I'm gonna use a redstone. Right, and then mana steel ingots, and then mana diamonds, and then mana pearls. And you all can chill right there. 
And same deal. Uh, do I want to block? I don't think we need to block. This can run whenever. I'm cool with that. And then all we need to do over here is just add to our filter uh, the other mana steel, diamond, and pearl. And now if I said, hey, I need like 30 of them. Are you cool? Terrible. They did kind of fly everywhere. I will give it that much. I think we got a couple of them. Yeah, there was definitely some, you know, items flying around situation. That one we might want a little bit higher. We'll see. We'll see. I wonder if I could give you a bigger range. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can't. And if I did that, we'd be cool then? Yeah, let's do that. That accumulator. Uh, thermal range? There is totally an add-on for range. Radial something? There you go. Works. That works. I'm cool with that. All right, so now we've got that all done. Uh, plutonium pellet should be easy. Uh, we just need a few of them. This is the plutonium maker. There you go. Plutonium pellets complete. And then what we need is the Supreme machine frame, which we already have on Autocraft. And that completes this line of the endgame quests. And now there's only one line of endgame quests remaining, which is cool. Okay. So with that done, now, dun 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 dun, right? So I can have a creative energy cell here. Now, if I apply this, you know, now, right? So what's, where's, where's this guy getting power from? Power tap somewhere. So he's uh, doing 450-ish Arbitech, which is hilariously unimportant to me. I'm still going to apply the the, and then you now are using zero. In theory. And you're still online and happy? Stored power zero, max power okay. I guess you're working okay. I think we're good. Unlimited powers. You know I like that. All right, and then we could also So how did this work? Did these guys always just feed into here? They did. I'm debating if I want to like replace one of these guys with I mean they're they're fine as they are. Right? I don't know that we need to replace. We could augment them or we could just save them for use later, which I think is what I'll do. I will save them for use later. So if we in the future determine that we need more elemental elements, then we will throw them in there. But for now, like this is basically infinite, but sort of not, but also sort of yes. But in a way, no, but you get the idea. Uh, so now we need a hundred billion RF which I'm going to say is probably a comically easy thing for me to pull off because I've got 4.8 trillion RF. So booyah to you. Uh, so if I came over here, 100 billion RF and hit the green. Well, that ain't too shabby. I'm going to bypass limit. Look at it go. Look at it charging up. That is cool. That is cool. And then what's the other thing I needed to go along with this quest? A hundred buckets of liquid DT fuel. 
That shouldn't be too bad. It needs to be liquid DT fuel to be, you know, for the record. So that's cool. So that's done. Now DT fuel isn't terrible to make. We just need to condensate regular DT fuel, uh, which needs deuterium and tritium. And we know that to be, you know, relatively straightforward. We've done that a dozen times, you know, it's really not hard to make deuterium and tritium out of liquid DT fuel. The one thing is, is that the tritium requires uh, lithium, which we've, we skipped, right? We didn't do lithium in this series, or did we? Did we make a lithium thing out here after all in the end? I don't think we needed to because we got those items as a quest reward. So what we could do is stand up a quick lithium maker over here and then get the deuterium and, and, and tritium. That might be be the way no idea what this storm lens is and then what do we get for this quest by the way uh experience i don't care about experience uh but going forward we're going to get a creative room from elemental craft which might be cool to tick accelerate something with um we're going to need gaia spirit ingots so we're going to have to do the gaia guardian fight no problem there because i wanted to check out the other batania mod uh then we need some unstable ingots some dimensional shards and eyes of ender shouldn't be a problem there That'll get me a creative reclamation chamber. Catalyst usage 0x. Okay, neat. Uh, other stuff doesn't look too terrible. Creative spellbook uh, doesn't look too terrible. Creative jetpack doesn't look too maybe terrible. We'll see. I'm not sure about these three. That one might be easier said than done. I don't know how to get those. Um, and then we get right click to change the chance of the inserted cubes. Okay. And then we'll get a creative source jar from some advanced runes. And oh, 16 God Forged Pearls. <sighs> that might be easier said than done. A lot of this other stuff doesn't look too terrible. This. Here are crystals we can make. We don't have it set up yet, but we can make. All right, I think that's cool. And you're still making antimatter for me because we need five for the final hand in. So I'm hoping that by the time we get there, we will be good, right? I think we'll have five antimatter by the time we get to that end quest. Cool. All right, so I made uh, the thermal evaporation controller components. It's raining. I guess what I could do is put another rain shield over here. Not like they're particularly hard to craft. Okay. Uh, so. That. And let's just have you helping me out. Right. Then you, and then you. I actually decide I want more. Two more valves, right? So I'm going to like almost reverse what I normally do here and make you. This dude. Cool. And then the resistive heater can sit here. And then the flux point can sit there. And you can be like, I don't know, a thousand RF a tick, who cares? Right? And now you're making brine. Sweet. And you're going to sit here, and you're going to sit there, and you should be now getting temperature, and then you, boop, 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 turning brine into liquid lithium. Beautiful.
All right, so now that that's good, in order to get tritium, uh, we need lithium, which needs to be deconcentrated from the liquid lithium, which is what this is, right? Yes. So condensator fit there, and then you're going to be fluids can be input on top, gases can be output to the left, and boop, there you are. And there's your liquid lithium. And if we want mechanism to have an add-on and speed upgrade, I won't complain. Yoinks, that's much better. Uh, and then from there, uh, how about we do this? Let's do a tank. Do we have any, like, do we have the good tanks? We don't really have the good tanks programmed. Should we consider programming the good tanks? I feel like, yeah. You are already craftable, aren't you? Yes, you are. You have a plus, which means you're already craftable. Uh, which means that the tier 2 tanks should be cool and easy. Okay, ultimate. And by the time I get over there, it should be done. Excellent. And that'll hold lots of lithium gas, uh, which then we can get our solar dude. Now, if I set you to output out the front and eject on, you should be good. We just need to wait for it to be daytime which I can make happen. Cool. And that'll go in the rain. Thank you. And then we'll get another tank. We can get like a smaller one. Let's just do advanced. It doesn't hurt to do a giant one, but meh. There you go, tritium. All right, and then you're going to dump your tritium into a chemical infuser. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this whole area is chunk loaded because I am in the same chunk that I had the other stuff. Boom, right? And now you've got your tritium here. Cool. And then deuterium will come in on this side. And you're going to hold 256 buckets, and how much do I need? 100 buckets? So this should be fine. So you're going to sit here with gas output to the left. Probably input on the right. And then you're going to sit here, and that should be fine. Cool. And then you just need power which I can flux plug my way to. Works for me. Okay, now we're going to want uh, a pump for mechanism. It should be easy. Come on, come on. And a filter from mechanism. You don't know how to make tin dust? Dire, please. I do like the searching. Now we can fly back here. We're going to do as good a job as we can. 
but we're going to want for, we can get rid of all of this for the moment. Deuterium needs an electrolytic separator. So you're gonna sit right next to this guy. You will, for gases, when you electrolytic separate, your deuterium is going to be in the blue tank. So your blue should be outputting to the left. And then you're going to input on the right, but that's items. So gases, yes, but I don't need you outputting. I want your fluids to come in here. Cool, right. And then you're going to void excess on the oxygen. Okay. And you can have some universal cables going on here just to help. Okay. And then you're going to want the pump. I think I could probably pump straight like that. Now, if I put your filter upgrade in here and speed and energy, let's not forget you're probably also going to want speed and energy. Cool. And then if I just put water under you, we should be cool. Let's use regular stone bricks because that's what I used to build out here. And I'm pretty sure this won't actually use up any water, if I'm not mistaken. Well, would you look at that? Not too shabby. You need your mechanism upgrades as well, though. Boom and boom. Now we're cooking. DT fuel production in process. So I'm going to call that good. So let's wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. When we get there, uh, I should have enough DT fuel for the quest hand in, and then we will continue along the rest of the stuff. For now, Delta, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.